Okay, in this guide, I'm going to show you how you can find the nearest or the best television transmitter for Freeview Television in the UK. Now, for this guide, I'm going to be using a website called ukfree.tv, but before you begin, I recommend that you install Google Earth. This is a free application from Google, which will help you pinpoint the exact direction you have to point your aerial to. So, if you haven't installed Google Earth, I recommend you do it now before you proceed to the next step. Okay, once that's done, we're going to visit ukfree.tv. Click on the website. Once it loads, you want to click on the gear icon in the top right hand corner. Once a new page loads, you will scroll down a little bit and you can see Freeview Prediction Postcode. So enter your postcode. In my case, I live in Newport in South East Wales. Okay, once that loads, scroll down a little bit. It will then give you a prediction of the best transmitters in your area now. This little yellow icon here is my house, which is my postcode I just typed in. These 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 little signs here are the Freeview transmitters, and these brain ones are known as Freeview light transmitters, which only carry a small amount of channels. So they are really a last resort if you can't get a proper signal from the from a Freeview transmitter. So only point your TV aerial to those transmitters if you can't get a signal. So, in my case, I live in Newport, South Wales. Over here is recommending the Mendip transmitter, which is in the south of England, in Somerset, I believe. So, there's also one up here, which is in Pontypool. If you double click on the tra transmitter, it will give you more information. So, double click on the icon. You can then scroll down, and then gives you a bigger footprint. So, all this green area here, which is with with a signal is the best um, the best um, signal quality. So you can zoom in a little bit. So my house is somewhere in this region here. So I'm in the good green zone here. If I go back and say choose another transmitter, say the Pontypool transmitter, double click on that. My house is somewhere down here somewhere, which is in the kind of brown if not black area so that so the the um, signal strength is very weak on this transmitter so that's not a good option for me so I can go back I can see the free view light transmitter which actually has a really good signal but as I said earlier only carries a small amount of channels my house is somewhere somewhere over here which is in the yellow zone which indicates there might be interference from other transmitters, so I'm going to choose the Mentic transmitter. Unfortunately, I won't get local um, news or local programs, but it doesn't really matter. So, if I double click on the Mentic transmitter, I know I'm in the green zone. What you want to do as well is take note of all these. This on the left hand side, these are known as multiplexes. You'll see there's a H next to all of them in brackets. This indicates the direct the way you mount your aerial, you either mount your aerial vertically or horizontally. So if I go back again, I can show you the Pontypool transmitter has V next to the multiplexes, which indicates you mount your aerial vertically. So just just make note of that, either horizontally or vertically. Go back again to the Mendip. So I now know this is I, I now know I have to install my aerial horizontally to receive this transmitter. So, as I said earlier, to get the best general idea of the direction you have to point your aerial, is you can use Google Earth for this. So, if you have Google in Earth installed, all you have to do is click on the Google Earth icon here at the top of the page. You will see then on your browser, I'm using Chrome, it's saved a file down here, so I can now open it. Bear in mind, it will depend on what browser you're using where the file is saved, etc. So if you're using Firefox, it might save differently. So open the file, then Google Earth should load, and it should now zoom in on the position of the transmitter, which I have selected. So there it is. There's the Mendip transmitter, all the way in Somerset. Now, obviously, I know the location of the transmitter, now I need to know the lo location of my house, so type in your postcode again. Click enter. 
It will then zoom in on your street. And bear in mind, you have to be familiar with Google Earth to get a general idea where your house is. I'm very familiar with the application, so I do know. So you, you can just generally just zoom in on your street if you want to, but it's best to zoom in on your house. So this is my house by here. So I'm going to zoom in right on the rooftop. So I was installing the aerial in the loft. So what I can do now, click on the top toolbar. You can see show ruler, open ruler. Just drag it to one side. You can then draw a line like so. I'm going to zoom out because I have to draw a line all the way to the south of England. Zoom out a bit more. I'm going to go across. I'm going to go right to the transmitter there. Zoom in on the transmitter. So then click and then click save and just click OK again to save it. Now I have a straight red line from the transmitter to my home, so if I zoom out again and zoom back into my house, across we go, zoom into my house. Like I say, if you're not familiar with Google Earth, this might be a little fiddly, but it's not too difficult. So now I have a straight red line from my house to the transmitter, so I simply follow this line when installing an aerial in my loft or on the roof. I will have an absolute accurate position for my aerial to the transmitter. Just remember, it either goes horizontally or vertically, which will tell you with the website. And that's basically how it's done. I now have a, a perfect line which shows me the direction of the transmitter. So that's how you find the best or the, your local transmitter using this method. Thanks for watching.